Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Yohanathan, coming with another lesson, and it's coming through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shah, and Lord willing, it will reach the ears to the hopeful elect. And as you see in the video, whether it's staged, whether it's fake or real, hey, this is going to be a reality soon, okay? This is going to be a reality soon here in America. You know, 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter goes into this, man. You know how hey, they're going to do this because of the lack of bread. You know, you're going to have loved ones. You're going to have people that you knew your whole life, and they're going to try to come and get you. Because they don't have food themselves, man. You know? And many great miseries are going to happen to uh, these people in the world because they have walked in great pride. And I believe I'm going to begin with that scripture. You know, that's 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter. Let's get 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 50. And it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them. It's like it. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride man okay and that's the spirit of babylon the great man everybody here is prideful man so the lord is ultimately going to send his plagues the lord is going to send his judgments all right and the lord is going to judge this place man because the pride thereof man and this is going to be a reality soon here in america man you know <laughs> a hot dog which was it was already half eaten you know, somebody going to come against you for that, man. And you know what? Let's not waste any time. Let's get second Ezra's. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's start uh, second, uh, second, second Ezra's chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe meaning destruction. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against one another with swords in their hands. All right, sword is could be an instrument of destruction, a literal sword, a gun, you know, a pocket knife, whatever the case may be. All right, verse 16. For there, for there shall be sedition amongst men, and invading one another. And this is the sedition, you know. You see one people coming against him, uh, coming against one another. You know, for food, man, for food's sake, okay? And it says, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, okay? So this is going to be a, the future of this place, man. And the Lord is going to do this, okay? Because, hey, Yahweh Shemal Shah, you know, hey, he's about to wrap this thing up, man. The gates of mercy are ultimately going to be closed, man. That grace period... You know, it's ultimately going to come into an end, man. So, you know, expect to see these things, man. You know, us hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, and hey, we desire to see these things because we know when these things happen, all right, and hey, we know it's the end, okay? These are the signs and the times that's written about in the scriptures. Okay, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And this is pursuing back to 2nd Edris 8 and 50, man. The reason why Yahweh Bashem al Shah is going to do all these things to Babylon the Great because hey, this, this nation, this kingdom is prideful, man. This is a proud people, you know, especially starting with our people, man. They're proud. They don't acknowledge Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Neither do they desire the ways of him. Okay, so the Lord is going to send all these calamities. He's going to send these plagues and ultimately he's going to send destruction upon this place. Okay, and it says again, 2nd Ezra 15, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid, man. And when you see the look on that man's face, hey, man, he was afraid, you know, when you saw, when you saw, um, when you saw the dude, you know, run up on him with the knife, man, he was he was afraid. He was terrified. He instantly gave up his food up, man. All right. So that's just to show you in the near future, man, that hey, this is going to happen. You know, whether people believe it or not, 
and the lord has to reveal these things unto you man but again us hopeful elect and we see these things happening man okay because when there is lesser you know calamities or lesser things going on it is the spirit of babylonians man every man for himself just imagine when food is a necessity in that time man you know a costco hot dog a man is going to be able to kill you for that man just imagine when he has to feed a family of you know his woman and his children okay so just expect that in the times to come okay and verse 18 verse 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but he shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation okay bread bread is meaning food okay so there's going to be a lack of food right it tells you that there's going to be a famine you know not only is there going to be a famine of the word okay, but there's also going to be a famine of bread man and that's going to happen you know there's going to be a famine of food there's going to be a lack of food there's not going to be this excess amount of food here man okay but the real food that you really need okay is what it is wisdom knowledge and understanding the real water that you really need is again this wisdom knowledge and understanding man all right because pursuing to isaiah the 33rd chapter and six verse is going to be the stability of our time man wisdom and knowledge and the wisdom and knowledge come from the scriptures man so again second ezra 15 and 18 of uh, 15 and 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation man all right and many trials and tribulations but it's really going to be tribulations hey that's going to happen in america which is babylon the great man okay the time of jacob's trouble a time that we have never seen before man and like the scripture says how babylon has been a golden cup you know this place has never experienced a hey, what it's about to experience man and that's why it's going to take a lot of people over man you know so this may seem funny you know i sent this to somebody in the world he said it was fake and the reason why he thinks it's fake you know the reason why he thinks it's staged because babylon the great you know again has built has been that golden cup man many people don't think that that's going to be a reality soon man but just imagine when you have to rationalize or ration food man just imagine when you only can eat a certain amount of food man that's going to change people's whole perspectives man and we already been pre-programmed through movies through tv shows through the media you know we already been pre-programmed to know or what to expect in them times man okay so again hey because of their pride great miseries are going to come upon this place man your fellow neighbor you know neighbor is really meaning your your israelite brother israelite sister but your little your literal neighbor the person that you grew up with and waved to every morning and had a conversation with and he's going to come up in your house if he thinks you have food man and this is going to be the reality soon here in america which is babylon the great man so i didn't want to make this lesson too long but if it be the lord's will it was edifying and it reached to, to the hopeful elect so to the next time giving all praises glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem kakudash the bonds to the apostles and elders of great mills when i grew up he's a blessing to the elect Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, call me Ashala, Shalom.